to do this to you, but we got to start this day off by ah, taking some layers off. Got a bit of a drive ahead of us. So I just uh, I picked up a giant crate outside Winnipeg and uh, got to take it way up north. This crate is going to a town called Arbor. We've been there recently. Got the shades on, that means we're serious. Serious business going on here. I'm just gonna quickly put this into my uh, my maps here. Karen has moved into my phone. Uh, she, she lives in either my massive GPS. I don't wanna take that back and forth. Every, I guess I could. Maybe I'll take my big GPS back in here one day, but it's just faster to do everything on here right now. Uh, Arbor, how far away are you? Where are you? Okay, it is 158 kilometers from here. An hour and 39 minutes. We go around Winnipeg, to the north side of Winnipeg, and up Highway 7. All the way to Arbor. All right. All right, all right, all right. We've got our orders. Now it is time to flawlessly execute them. It is Friday, the Friday before a long weekend. Have I mentioned that yet? I don't know if I've told you yet. It's a long weekend coming up. My first actual long weekend since I've been on this uh, normal schedule. Pull ourselves out here, the lights are on. We got the engine fan fixed on this truck yesterday morning. Uh, it was always on. Some of you noticed that. Uh, you can hear it in the background. The fan was always screaming. And it was keeping the temperature of the engine down very low. It was hard for me to get hot air in here. And the engine doesn't like running cold. So yesterday morning we got that fixed. And now the truck is running like a dream. I mean, it was running good before already, but it had some hiccups. Uh, and it had to uh, regen a lot, which was a little bit concerning to me. I'm like, why do I need to regen this motor every week? That's because it was running too cold. So, uh, we got that engine fan fixed, and now it's not on when it doesn't need to be on. And the engine can run at the proper temperature. It just makes everything better. It makes everything better. It's running like a brand new truck now. Which it should, because the motor is pretty much brand new. I mean, it's been rebuilt recently. At least the top end was rebuilt. That's what I was told. Guess I'll have to double check that. But yeah, let's go on up to Arbor. Let's see what the people up north there are up to. pounds and it was 10 feet 
by six feet. And all they had there was just a regular average forklift to unload it. <laughs> so that was interesting. We got it done though. I mean, we just put the forklift on one side and we put my pallet jack on the other side just to take enough pressure off it so it wasn't dragging on the floor so hard. We were able to shimmy it off the trailer onto their dock. And now I'm on my way back to Stonewall on north of Winnipeg. Got a few things to pick up there for somebody south of Winnipeg. They're expecting me. I can't keep them waiting. It's an hour down to Stonewall from here. And now that we're headed south, we're going right into the sun, so we're definitely going to need these. Oh. That's right. Serious shades. Serious business going on here. Serious trucking. Well, I just heard from the wife, and the terrain won't start this morning. Frozen solid, too cold. So that means what I suspected. Well, one of the things that I suspect, one of two, maybe both. I suspect that the block heater isn't working, and that the battery is also old. Good thing my father-in-law works in the service department at Chevy. So he told me, he looked it up, and apparently the battery in that vehicle is the original. So that is most likely the biggest problem, is that the battery needs to be replaced. While it's in the shop, I'm also going to get them to check the block heater, make sure that the block heater is working properly. Uh, because now she's scrambling to find a ride to work. Uh, she's already found one, she's already on her way there. But uh, I'm going to have to boost the terrain this evening and get it running. And since it's a long weekend, we can't take it in uh, to get fixed until Tuesday next week. So, uh, I, I don't work on the weekend, so Britt will probably just take the pickup to work, or I'll give her a ride to work, or whatever works. And we'll deal with this next week. But yeah, cold weather, man. My father-in-law was saying that uh, it's really busy in the shop there at Chevy right now. There's a lot of people having the same problems as us. If I would have known this was going to be an issue, I would have replaced the battery and got the block heater checked in fall already. I thought everything was still good to go, but, you know, cold weather always brings out the unexpected. You never know when it gets down to minus 35, you, you just never know. If anything's going to break, it's going to break in the coldest part of winter. That's a fact. So this is Toulon that we're rolling through right now. Nice little town, actually. I really like it here. I used to deliver here all the time. All that rushing. Get down here, stole it. Just for an itty bitty little pallet. It's a little three foot by two foot pallet. <laughs> it's something, right? It's something. At least the trailer's not empty. I'm headed into Winnipeg now to fill it with more stuff. I'm gonna try to get it filled up right to the back. We'll see what happens. We'll see how kind the load gods are to us. See if I can get onto this forward. Do you guys know how to use a stop sign here? Okay, it's your turn. You got the right of way. There you go. Everybody in Stonewall is pretty hip and with it here. They understand how a four-way stop works. Which is more than I can say for a few people in Steinbeck. Just saying. And they have a Tim Hortons. They have Tim Hortons. Stonewall's got a Tim Hortons. Congratulations, you've made it. You're now on the map. My map. In here. I've got a map saved in here where all the Timmies are. I can park a truck there too. We'll log that away for later. I guess I should double check to make sure we're not working Monday. I mean, I am doing a little bit of assuming because there's not going to be a lot of businesses open on Monday to get stuff from us 
or for us to pick up stuff from. If all the other businesses are closed, you would assume we would be closed too. I should, I will double check before leaving, but I'm pretty sure we're not going into work on Monday. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be at home playing some PS4, or possibly at our land having a bonfire, or doing something else that might actually be productive, but not likely. It's the weekend. I am not planning on any productivity and Actually, well, that's not true. I can't sit still for that long. I will definitely have a good period of time of non-productivity, weekend relaxing. But I will probably most likely end up doing something either with the channel, making my videos or, you know, going to the land and doing something, building something, I don't know, a little project. Gotta wash the vehicles again. The weekend came fast, didn't it? My truck stayed clean all week. My strategy of washing it at the beginning of the cold snap worked. Completely clean, but it is the weekend and you know, we got a little bit of dust on her. We might, maybe we'll do, maybe we'll do the inside, but then again, probably not because it's cold. I don't know, I'm excited. I haven't even had coffee. Listen how excited I am. You just wait. I'm gonna deliver this last couple of pallets or these last couple of pallets in my trailer. We'll see how excited I get. doesn't get upset at me exposing their slow moving their slow movingness on these pumps here look at this red ones we got a string across that little one every time that one's down over there too not cool but hey like you guys said it's probably gonna get fixed once it warms up nobody wants to work outside fixing stuff in this temperature I understand I don't blame them Okay, end of the week, let's fuel her up. We used a lot of fuel today because uh, when we went all the way up to Arburg, so I'm pretty sure we used about twice the amount of fuel. Oh, there's no cameras in this one. I guess they don't watch us at this one. Maybe that's why they don't fix the pumps because they can't see it. Oh no, they got cameras over there. They just got them in different spots. Oh. <laughs> Better be careful, they're gonna get mad at me. Stop exposing how we don't fix our stuff! <laughs> I'm just bugging them. I know, I know. Things take time, things cost money. It's cold. I get it, I get it. I get it. Give me my secret, super secret password. Like usual, what pump am I on again? Yeah, four. The small one, that's right. Four. It takes twice as long, too. I'm just saying. Just saying. Not complaining, just stating facts. Takes twice as long. Because the pumps aren't fixed, that's why. Just stating facts. Not complaining. Okay, she says we can fuel. I don't know who she is, but she lives in this box here. Shall we? Oh, man. It really doesn't bother me using the smaller pump, just so you know. Honestly, not complaining. I just think it's kind of fun. A fun little game we're playing on my channel here. See how long it takes them to fix the pump. I don't know who owns it. I don't know what the situation is. There could be a very good reason why they haven't fixed it yet. 
just as I start rolling forward, this guy walks right in front of me. Okay. Yeah, that could be a good reason. But until that happens, until it gets fixed, we'll keep playing the game. How long is it going to take? My guess is like the majority of yours. I think it's going to be fixed probably May. It's springtime. That was a good full day. Good full day. Arburg was half the day. But after that, we, yeah, we buzzed around Winnipeg a bit. Not really though. We sort of went around. We just dipped into the southwest side there and then we were out. Not much city driving today at all. I don't mind the city driving. I don't mind it at all. I prefer country, but uh, if I had a choice, I would always pick countryside. There's less people to get in my way, you know. But, uh, man, I'll take whatever they give me. I'm not picky. I just want to drive trucks. So now I get to go home and deal with the terrain, our other vehicle that didn't want to start this morning for Brit. I'm pretty sure it's just a bad battery, but it also might be the block heater like I was telling you before. Uh, so I'm going to go and try to get her running. I'll see if she'll turn over when I get home because she's been sitting outside during the day all day today. See if she'll turn over. If not, then uh, it's definitely not going to turn over in the morning because it's supposed to be minus 37 without the wind chill tonight. So it's going to freeze solid again. So tomorrow, as the sun warms it up a little bit, I'm going to put the battery charger on and get that battery all juiced up, and then I'll get it going tomorrow. And uh, we'll figure out what to do from there, because we have an appointment to get it all fixed up on Tuesday. So we don't really need the terrain until then. Britt doesn't work on Tuesday. She works every day this long weekend, unfortunately, so I can drive her to work because I'm not working. So I'll just drive her to work, and then on Tuesday she can bring... As long as she can get the, the train started on Tuesday, so... Ah, that'll be a little weekend adventure for us. I'll figure it out. If it was just a battery, I can replace a battery myself. But I have a sneaky suspicion that it's also the block heater. Because even if the battery is low voltage, the motor shouldn't be frozen solid. Right? It should still turn over somewhat. What do I know? We'll see what happens on Tuesday. Like I said, Britt's dad works in uh, GM service, so he'll take care of us. We still have warranty on it, right? That's another reason. Why Why am I going to tinker around with it myself when everything's still under warranty? Oh, they don't let them take care of it. Uh, send GM the bill, right? Or wherever the bill goes, whatever warranty we bought. We bought extended warranty, thank goodness. Uh, so whoever... Uh, gave us that we'll have to look up our records i don't know offhand we'll send them the bill how about that they can take care of that good old canadian tire moto master charger got the terrain going right away so there's definitely a voltage issue that's probably what the engine light was about last week as well but we got her going here now I mean, purring like a little kitten and she is plugged in now we're gonna get that checked out as well on tuesday we're bringing it in anyways like i said warranty get the block heater checked out get the battery checked out maybe get it replaced whatever needs to happen to make sure that uh, we have a reliable vehicle you gotta nip these things in the butt when they're small issues because uh once they turn into big issues, they get a little more costly. And warranty. You can send the bill to someone else. I like that. I like it a lot. Ah, 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 I'm trying to relax. <laughs> Did you miss me? Did you miss me? I'm gonna bite your arm. <laughs> Jealous. <laughs> Jeez, though, don't you get jealous. Everybody's getting jealous. Hey guys. Did you miss me? Did you have a good day? Did you
You have a good day. Wake up. Put me on the ledge. See? Right. There he is. The man, the myth, the fuzzy legend. Legend. He's so excited. <laughs> your tail wait? Oh, your tail. Your tail's gonna fall off, buddy. Careful, that thing's old. Rusty thing's gonna fall right off, buddy. Not rusty. Seasoned. Good boy. <laughs> Diesel. And Wiener, do you care that I'm home? Oh, you you live here. That's right. Okay. I'll come say hi because it makes mommy happy. Your feet stink. Is this good? You, you, your leg stinks too. Hello. Oh, he's happy too. If I wag the tails, that makes mommy happy. Okay, this has nothing to do with you. Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, no. How was your day? Eventful. Told them about your uh, your morning. <laughs> yeah, I still made it to work only three minutes late, so kind of a big deal. <laughs> you know our neighbor that uh, is a highlight of my day waves at me every day. I went over ride. and knocked on his door because Josh's mom wasn't picking up the phone. She was at a meeting in Winnipeg. My girlfriend's brother-in-law's car wouldn't start and my girlfriend's car was with her husband at work. So I went over to the neighbors. 